Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, worshippers of all ages, welcome to YouTube. My name is Sea Raptor, and it's time for more Scuttlebutt. Game in the background this week is, is Sharnhorst. Sharnhorst, of course, is not a new premium. This ship's been around, gosh, we got to be coming up on two years now, maybe even three. I'd have to go back and check. I think three, actually. Yeah, coming up on three. But man, what a fun ship to play. She remains my favorite German cruiser in the game. <laughs> Um, anyways, have a good, have a fun with this one. It's, it's, it's short and sweet. This episode's not gonna be very long. I don't have a lot to talk about this week, but I love this ship and, uh, well, enjoy. I had some really good matchmaking in this one. So what's going on in warships? It's worth talking about. Well, we'll do a little bit of recap. King of the Sea finished up here on the North American server last Saturday. Uh, I was up in Austin broadcasting the match, uh, live from Wargaming's HQ with, uh, Kami Samurai, which was a lot of fun. Uh, we did the third place match. That was a barn burner. Fun to watch, fun to cast. Rogue Fleet and SCCC made uh, a great match to just enjoy. It was just tons of fun. Those teams obviously love to fight, and the, the match did manage to go all five games. Uh, really, really fun. Congrats to Rogue Fleet for taking the match and, and finishing third in the North American bracket. Uh, so, yeah, that was just a blast. And then, of course, the main event, PWP, um, narrowly, like, man, who narrowly defeating 07 uh, to claim the first place title. Uh, in the North American bracket. And that was a great series as well because PWP just, they looked really, really rough in the first two games. Certainly in game one where they just looked completely outclassed. And then they made some adjustments and how they went about their business. And suddenly before you knew it, you were staring, we were staring at a game five and 07 had a pretty good lead in a game five, but could not quite seal the deal. And PWP went home with the crown. And it was, a, it was just a great match. It was, it was a lot of back and forth, two very skilled teams, um, PWP obviously taking a very, a very Henri, a very quick striking, heavy fist sort of approach where they would put six or seven ships, well, usually six ships on one side of the map and just blast anything they could find, get it off the board, blast it out of their way as quick as they could. And, uh, and then turn around and do, you know, get, deal with, deal with whatever was left. And, um, didn't work out well for them at the start of the match, but by the end of the match, they had found their stride and, uh, it was interesting to watch. It was a lot of fun. I had a blast casting it with Kami. I feel like from a production standpoint, it was probably the best looking King of the Sea Finals we've done here on NA. And I don't say that just because Kami and I dressed up for the event. Um, uh, I say that because I feel like uh, we have just really, really good and really smooth production quality in the back end. Huge props to Femininely, who who was our producer for the stream. Um, we managed to get the, the different camera views working so that, that you could we, she could change between Kami's view and my view, and then the overlays would update. Um, we had not worked out that little detail pre uh, for previous visits for previous casts, so I think overall, it just the whole thing was was looked better, and uh, and we got some good feedback on it. So if you if you did watch the cast, guys, if you watched the finals cast, if you have any feedback? Something we could have done better? Something you liked? Something you didn't like? Man, let us know. Say something in the chat. Drop me a comment down below, and uh, and let us know. But we had a lot of fun doing it, and I thought uh, I thought the event was uh, was was a pretty good success. Last, the last vestiges of King of the Sea 8 are still coming. They're about, about eight or nine days away now as the big cross-server event is coming up on Saturday, the 30th of March. We'll be playing the Southeast Asia server again, just like we did last May. Uh, and it's going to be a 10 p.m. Eastern start that night. If you recall, last time we played Southeast Asia, we did a late morning start, about a 10 a.m. start for Eastern time. Uh, we're going the opposite end of that now. They decided that playing to 2 o'clock in the morning was not to their liking. Um, so now we're going to rearrange things a bit schedule-wise so that the American teams are playing at night. But we're going we're gonna to shorten the overall duration of the event. We're going to run the second and third place games simultaneously with two separate streams. Um, since those are both best of threes, we can, we can do that. And then um, we'll run the best of five, the first place game, as its own showcase um, on somebody's stream. I don't yet know who's casting it. Um, I'm kind of burned out on King of the Sea right now. So I'm debating whether or not I want to I wanna futz with this or not. Um, I'm going to Star Wars Celebration in a few weeks, and I'm trying to get kind of shift gears away from warships and get into that and, and get focused on, on what I'm going to do. I'm going to be working the convention for Fantasy Flight Games, probably doing demos, possibly running some tournaments uh, over there in their, uh, their, their section that they're going to have set up to, for organized play. So we'll see. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll let you guys know once I have a better idea in case you're coming to Celebration and you want to stop in and say hi. But um, anyhow, I'm just not sure who's going to be casting that. So we're still working on that. We'll, we'll figure that out. 
So stay tuned for more announcements on that. Once we have that all ironed out, we'll probably get a portal article up uh, late next week with the details, who's casting, what the start times are. Well, start time is 10 p.m. Eastern, and then uh, and then uh, you guys can can tune in and watch uh, or che cheer the North American teams as they uh, they take on uh, the Southeast Asia winners. What else is going on? Well, public test server 8.2 is going another third round of testing this weekend. It started today, runs through, I was just looking at this, I believe it runs through Tuesday, the 25th. Is that, is that Tuesday or? Uh, no, no. Uh, early, or, yeah, Monday morning here on North America. So it's already running on Thursday night here, and it runs through Monday morning. The primary thing that they're testing is the new space battle modes that are coming in the next patch. Of course, this is something that they introduced last year for April Fools that was a, was very well received, a big hit in the community, and we're going to be getting more of it. And having done a test done a little bit of this last week, uh, it was a tremendous amount of fun. The new maps are gorgeous. The couple of new space skins we got are pretty awesome looking. Um, and I think they're going to put the old ones on sale again as well. So definitely go over and check out PTR if you have it installed. It's worth popping in for a few games. And uh, I'm really looking forward to this coming around on April. Now, what it does mean, though, is that probably, because, again, the way things t tend to work out, is that historically, for the last year, they have not been running a PTS session the weekend before the patch drops. So we would have expected the patch to drop next Wednesday, which would have been the 27th, I believe. That sounds right, yes. Um, but now I think we're not going to see the patch until a week after that, which should be the 3rd of April. So keep your eyes open for that announcement, but I, I expect that's where that's going to land. Um, what else is going on? Well, we talked about briefly last week. Uh, we're doing another round of, of Russian battleship testing on live. The, the, the CCs and the super testers have got these. I put a few games in on my stream this week. Um, primarily, we have the, the 7, 8. We have everything but the 5 and 6 for some reason. Um, and the low tier battleships, I played one game in the tier four, and you know it's 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 a tier four battleship. There's nothing really to write home about. Uh, there's been a lot made about the, the armor scheme on these ships, and I'll be honest, the armor scheme is pretty ridiculous. But if you're you know if you're playing if you're used to playing uh, Imperator Nikolai, for example, you're used to that. Um, you know the dispersion is is bad, and the guns are slow, and the ships are fat and slow, and it's it's a low-tier battleship. There's nothing really exciting here to write home about. Kremlin is still fun. I played one game in Kremlin on stream the other night, and it remains just ridiculously fun. This is a really, really entertaining... This is shaping up to be really, really entertaining line to play. Um, I historically don't care for battleships in general, but I will probably play this line when it comes out, because it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Yukikaze and Montpellier are also testing... Uh, Yukazi is essentially a worse Kagero. She's locked into these F3 torps and has no third consumable, so I'm not sure what they're doing here. Montpellier is a slightly different Cleveland. A uh, little better Sigma, a little slower reload. And it's, it's kind of a trade. Both these ships really seem like they're aimed to milk money out of the weeps, um, and that's kind of where they're at. I, I don't really know why else they exist. I'll, I'll be honest. I, I just don't know. So, but, you know, they are what they are. If you're interested in that sort of thing, when they come out, you know, hopefully they'll make some, they make a change to Yukikaze because I don't think she's in a great spot right now. But Pellier is, it's okay. So, if they're interested, they'll be out at some point. They haven't announced it. Um, last but not least, I did manage to hit 1,000 followers on Twitch. Uh... Right after the finals cast, so earlier this week. Guys, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's time for me to do a giveaway then. I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be setting up something over the weekend. I haven't had time during the week here, but over the weekend, I'm going to get together and uh, put together probably a, a Gleam giveaway that, that I'll link into my various media channels, Twitter and Facebook, uh, here and on um, uh, Twitch. And we'll be giving away some stuff. I haven't figured it out yet. Like I said, i got to sit down and wrap my brain around it but uh, and, and get that together over the weekend. But that is in my weekend plans to make that happen. So so keep your eyes out. Um, I'll probably get it announced in the middle of next week. And uh, and I just I just want to I want to say thanks to everybody for the support. It's been awesome. Twitch is not my primary thing. I don't do it for a living. I do it as a hobby. So the fact that I've got that many people, um, you know, having me followed and and my regular stream now draws, my weekly stream draws, you know, 40 to 50. Where once upon a time, you know, last summer when I first started doing the weekly stream, I was doing good to get 12. Right. So it's been nice to see that grow, guys, and I really appreciate the support. It's been pretty awesome. All right, well, that's it. Like I said, it's a pretty quiet week. Um, go out there, test the PTS battles. Um, and, um, well, yeah, hopefully something interesting will, will drop after the community guys wrap up their summit in St. Petersburg, and we'll chat about that next week. In the meantime, have fun blowing up ships, and I'll see you later.